Welcome back to creating Google Slides uh, basic presentations. And this is our assignment number two. We are, uh, we've already uh, created uh, our assignment one, which has my basic first and last name and I saved it as a module two assignment one with my last name in it. We're gonna open that same one to start our uh, assignment number two. We will change it to uh, change the name by making a copy and you get rid of the copy of it here and then change this to a number two assignment number two we're going to share with the same people just in case you were sharing which you should be sharing with your instructor and your peers and if there are any comments we could copy comments we're not going to do that right now we're going to open up our new assignment so now you can see here it's named Module 2, Assignment 2, and we're ready to roll. Now again, like we started to begin with, we're going to make new slides. It says we have a requirement of having three slides in this. So we're going to add a new slide. We're going to go to the layout and make it blank because we have to add text. We're going to add another new slide. Go to the layout. Make sure you clicked on that one. And select blank. Now those are all set to blanks, slides. Now one of the things we are required to do in this assignment is change the background of each slide. So I'm going to change the background of this slide by selecting background here, selecting a different color, going to get progressively darker on the grays, that's just my preference. And there we go. Now we have three slides with three different backgrounds. And now we have need to add two text boxes to each slide. Now the way that we did it before was we had added this text box from here. Something that you can do to, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, but something you can do to add two text boxes is go to layout and if you just went to this right here it would add two text boxes and they're symmetrical they they're put in a in a normal layout and i'm going to do that for all three so we have a title and a body title and a body on all of these now normally your first slide would uh, have a layout of a uh, title, big title, and then a subtitle. Um, you can do that, that's fine, leave it however you want, but it, you need two text boxes in each one of those. We need to add different text to each of the boxes. It can be anything that you want, uh, but each text uh, slide boxes need to have something different. Uh, we need to uh, change the font colors of the text boxes, and we need to remember our cart. So since we applied this, it's going to keep whatever color was normal for the layout. We might have to change this for cart principles to a lighter color just so it's readable. So let's make that white. And this one should be fine. It's a darker uh, color. We might, might change those other things. So then you add your text in here. I'm just going to add my name again. And then you can go down here and a assignment two, two in uh, module two. So there we go, assignment two, module two. I have different texts there, and uh, they're different. They're not different colors than these, but uh, I can change those whenever I get done. So let's go. Um, slide one or slide two. You can put whatever again with whatever you want. And uh, vice versa for this. not hard to do it's just uh, takes a little bit of time all 
All right. So now we have these uh, and this one are different or are the same colors, I should say. Let's change this to a different color and uh, let's make it a blue. And this is a different shade of blue. Can't go too light because it won't show up very well. And these are, these are, like I said, these are preference. So now we have three different slides with two text boxes each, having different text in each one with different fonts. Now we need to add three different types of lines and three different shapes on each slide. So I will allow you to not put shapes on this uh, heading slide. All right, actually, let's go ahead and put some shapes on there, some lines and some shapes. Let's go a normal straight line. Let's go in between here. See how that looks. And you can uh, straighten it up uh, as you want. Let's add another one, which is an arrow. a different color let's add something let's add a regular line right here like we're underlining and let's change the ends to circle there now we have three different lines three different uh, ways to look at stuff and uh, different colors you can change the lines to different colors but you're only required to uh, make them different lines so there's our three lines and then our three shapes you can do any shape you want. And you can change the colors if you would like. Actually, let's put this. Let's put this here. And bring it to the front or send it to the back. I'm sorry. So put the order, send it backward. We're going to have to send it backwards several times. It should be one more time. Up a few more times. You have to click on the edge sometimes to get this to work because you're bringing other things in front. So that should, that should do it. Now I could, at this point, I could highlight all of this and center it. We'll take that one out of the equation. But you don't have to do this. We're going to assign center. There we go. And then Distribute, no, we don't want to do that. That's it. All right. So that's our first one. And you need to add uh, two more shapes. Whoops. You can put arrows or whatever you want. And this is going to be a little cluttered slide, but uh, I just want you to, to meet the purposes of uh, understanding what you're doing here. Uh, you can do a call out. Make it symmetrical or not, doesn't matter. I've got three shapes in here now, three lines, and you need to do that to your remaining two slides. If you have any questions, give me a holler, and uh, we'll help you out.